Is that a normal show? Saloon car. Whoa, look at this place. Ah, oh, the arcade machine broke. Hey Tails, where are you? Oh, there you are. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah. That's a question, really. Where do I put this? What if Sonny... Sonny? What if Sonic is actually hurt? He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Well, that's not true. The conductor and I aren't his friends. We don't even know him. And then there's the mechanical arm in the background. We're just really committed to the mystery of poor Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonny likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? Of course! Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks. So I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Yeah, varmints. What are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy mostly around, mostly through and told me about it. And told me all about it. Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept his voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Funny, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all parted. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right. Let's do this. This has red on it. Seems we can talk. We can talk. Seems we can look at a lot of stuff. Let's start with this. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from... Punches? Who could have done that? <laughs> yes! Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade to your inventory. Oh my god. Funny, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. But why are there three? Uh, Knuckle was really thirsty. Funny, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckle's color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. He got all blushy. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your head a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! <laughs> oh, Knuckles, how cute. What now? Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I wish you luck. So mean. He's not actually going to fight me, right? Knuckles, Bunny and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, boss off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Bunny, just take a good look at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? This one? The arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> that makes you think I touched it. Oh, 
Oh darn, not enough rings. He cooked me weak. Start all over again. And I fall. There we go. Good grief. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. You clearly touched the arcade machine because what evidence do you have to the damage our punches? I love Tails' expressions here. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. But will you? I'm on it. Honey, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. <laughs> I'll do my best for you, Tails. Finally, finally. K machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores, Tails. Look at the scores. What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. Will it tell us something massive? Look at the names on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroy the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Actors are coming name. Prove to me he was here now. Finally, I passed the little mini game and forgot to record it. Now, Bunny, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? This? Perhaps? I thought it was strange there was more than one cop sitting next to you. While well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery. In the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoy some drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't! Ah, don't... Don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the, at the top of the hour wanting to play arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. An alibi. I already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. He searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me, thank you for answering so many of our quests. Actually, that's not everything, is it Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name, one more name on that high score list. Does it make sense? Bunny, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is still talking about? Alton? All of the other names have a food theme, but this one... Who here goes by Ultim? You know, you may not know, Bunny, but there is someone here that goes by that title. Shadow! There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Back then I was struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? 
He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key? Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here, not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right! The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library that caused Vector to come here? Why shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked him with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get here. But it seems we can move on. Yes, yes it does. Onwards to the next card. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. The library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sherry. Come on, Bunny. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. I bet it is.